Simo! What's going on guys? It's Simo and welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. A weekly series where we look at some broke ass cards from the anime and apply them to the current meta. This week's card, staying on the theme of Siegfried's cards apparently, is Nibelung's Treasure. And for those of you who don't know what this card does, I'll go ahead and let Siegfried explain once again. Hmm, how to destroy you? I think Nibelung's treasure is a good start. This lets me play Nibelung's ring. But since I'm feeling generous, I'll give it to your dragon cannon. Okay, so my opponent gets a ring. I also get to draw five new cards. Of course, of course, of course you're gonna draw five. Because why else wouldn't you? So to simplify things, Nibelung's treasure allows you to equip a Nibelung's ring to a monster your opponent controls, and then you draw five cards. Now, before on the series, we've discussed Card of Demise, you know, Card of Sanctity, and these are all these really broken draw cards, but you could make an argument that Nibelung's treasure is the most broken of the three, and the reason being is that Card of Demise, you're drawing until you're holding five. Card of Sanctity, you're drawing until you're holding six. This card doesn't have a restriction on what you can go up to. Like, you could have a five card hand, Put this out and then draw five, so now you're holding nine cards. Like, duh. Now you could make the argument that if we're going based on how this was used in the anime, you have to equip a Nibelung's ring to a monster, meaning that your opponent has to control a monster essentially for you to resolve this card, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to activate it because you can't equip the ring to an opponent's monster. But, that being said, if you go second, that basically alleviates that problem altogether because if you're going second, your opponent's more than likely going to play a monster more often than not. And then after that, you can just proceed. You draw to your sixth card, activate this, they get the ring, you draw five, you're at ten cards. GG. And we haven't even talked about Nibelung's ring yet. Now, Nibelung's ring, the controller of the card, draws two cards for each one of their draw phases. And while that may be really good, and you're thinking, okay, so maybe there's like a counter here, it's really not, because if they draw any monsters, they get sent to the graveyard. And if you're the person playing Nibelung's treasure, if you have like a 10 card hand or a 9 card hand like I've been explaining, I think it would be fairly easy for you to find a way to destroy the monster that has the ring equipped to it, so that your opponent doesn't have the chance of even drawing those extra two cards during their draw phase and taking the risk that they might be able to keep both of those. So, it's just like there's literally zero downside. Like, okay, if you have a 9 to 10 card hand, you should be OTK that turn anyway. Let's be real. You know, moving into this pendulum format, I, it, I don't even want to think about the possibility of my opponent being able to have 8 to 10 cards in their opening hand, and being able to just, like, completely fuck me. Like, that is just, like, probably would be the most savage beating I think anyone would ever receive, ever. Granted, though, you can look at a lot of combo-based decks and kind of say, okay, you know, if we have a lot more cards that we can have at our disposal thanks to Nibelung's Treasure, that's not bad, because if you have all your combo pieces, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to do all of the combos that the deck does and helps really buff consistency. Not to mention if you're running your triple upstart as well, I mean, you're basically playing a 32-card deck at that point. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Nibelung's Treasure. Like, this card is just insane. I mean, just being able to draw five with no, like, restriction or ceiling on your hand limit, aside from, like, at the end phase, you have to have, obviously, less than six or six or less, but, I mean, that's totally irrelevant because you should be winning if you resolve that card. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We'll see you next week. See you next